I'm going to show you an Alpine Halo 9 inch floating stereo. Right, to be precise, um, it's an Alpine ILX F905D, and I'm getting old, I can't remember these model numbers, but that's the precise model that we installed in this relatively new uh, Volkswagen Transporter T6.1. So this is the unit, if you have a look, and we've got the proper fitting kit so it all fits in there it's a nine inch floating stereo like I mentioned earlier on so it actually does stick out proud but the nice thing about it is that you can actually position it to be quite vertical on the dash with these Volkswagens they do slant a little bit and uh, but with this one it's nice and um, you can make it nice and flat so you can see it quite easily without having a lot of glare so I'm going to turn it on it's a beautiful screen this is so if you have a look at this the actual product is beautiful. Please have a safe drive today. And that's the dash cam kicking in. So we got, um, as you can see, got a full um, nine-inch screen there. Um, it, you've got buttons on the bottom here. It's also a touch screen, um, so you can go into different range channels and what have you. Go into the menu, and then you have various selections there. Um, this particular unit has, as well as obviously Bluetooth and DAB Aerial. Um, it also has uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The Apple CarPlay is wireless on these units. Um, the Android Auto, however, is wired, so you have to plug into the USB um, to get Android Auto up. Uh, but the Apple CarPlay is, is wireless. Now we connect it up to the, um, the uh, multi-function steering wheel, so this would all, it's all controlled by the stereo for your um, for the steering wheel, as you would have done with the factory stereo that came with it. Um, the other thing to note uh, with this T6.1, it has the emergency SOS telephone um, button up here, and when you fit an aftermarket stereo in one of these vehicles, it'll fire up an error on the dash every time you turn the ignition on, and that'll just stay on, saying that that's inactive and um, and there's an issue. Um, so there's a specific module that we had to um, supply and fit to prevent that from happening. So that function still works um, because that all worked with the original stereo. Um, so it's additional, so bear that in mind with these vehicles. If you haven't got that, then you don't need it and it doesn't really matter. Um, also, the other thing is that all the, all the controls for the vehicle itself was controlled by the stereo. So if you want to change the central locking settings, if you want to change your light settings, if you want to change your clocks even, um, the time and date, you all had to do it all through the stereo. Now obviously that stereo is now gone and we fit an aftermarket stereo into it. So the way we got around that is another module that had to be installed. So if we go into, um, if you have a look on the actual screen itself, if you go into camera, so what it's showing is the reverse camera image, but however, we're not in reverse, so we've got no image. And on the steering wheel controls, by pressing the um, speech button, it'll bring you up this menu here. And it's a little bit crude in how it is, but it works. So it's like if you need to reset your tire pressure, you could do it all from there. So it's all this functionality that you get from your factory system um, will all still work with this aftermarket stereo, as you can see. But like I said, the graphics on it is really crude, but at least the functionality of it works and you can change all the settings. You haven't lost any of that. Otherwise, that's gonna be a right pain um, if you ever need to do anything, pump your tires up, for example, then you get low pressure tire warning. There's no way that you could actually reset that. So with this, with this um, uh, kit that we've put in there, you've got the ability to do that. Um, it's got reverse camera as well, which we had to install. Didn't come with reverse camera, so put it into reverse, and you've got your reverse image there. And being a nine-inch screen, you've got a nice big picture of what's behind you. So that is the Alpine Halo 9-inch floating stereo.